Right, hi there guys. Uh, me back again, we're off the computer voice for a little bit. So what we're gonna go into is the API channels next. So we're still sticking with the API channels. However, this time we're gonna go down to JSON API, right? Now, the reason why I want to come on here is because we're not actually gonna use it. I'm gonna show you a quick little run through of it. However, there's an easy way we've put in place. So first off, you can add a new connection. So you need to add the connection name, select your page, and you put the web URL, which is normally something from Zapier. Now, this here, we can tell what's gonna trigger it, and which data do we want to send. And this is all cool. And a lot of chatbots actually have this. The problem being is that what you'll find is a lot of webhooks, you're gonna be quite limited on what you can actually do. So, rather than using the JSON API webhook, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down here, we're gonna to go to Google API. Now, this is a, a bit that we've put in here, which is totally different. Um, it's pretty awesome. And what we can actually do here is we can automatically send everything straight to our Google Sheets. So we now know we've got direct integration within Google Sheets. Now to do this, all you do is you go into a particular page. Um, so we'll just say, chat my restaurant. I don't know if there's any information in this page. And we're gonna choose the template. And we're gonna copy URL for the template. Now then, it actually tells you what to do here. So first it told us to make a copy. So we'll do file, oops, once it'll load. And do file, and we'll do make a copy. All right, I'm just gonna do that one. And once the copy is loaded up, then we're gonna click in here, and we're going to paste it. Right, and all I've done is paste in there. And what's then gonna happen is, this is gonna get all of the information straight from our chatbot. Now, the reason why this is so good, okay, so we actually don't have any messages in there, I didn't think I would. Right, this is good on two scapes. Now what we can do is we can go to Zapier, um, zapier.com, and if we look at the integrations, what we can actually do with Zapier, and, oh, hang on. If we look at the integrations, what we can do with Zapier, and Google Sheets, the integrations are huge, so we can actually get all sorts done. So what we're doing is we're actually we're increasing everything in there. So if we do this one, um, so we'll say create a zap, we'll just say that we're gonna create a quick one. This means that we can have it email us, we can have it doing absolutely all sorts. So we'll go to Google Sheets, and as you can see, you can choose an event. So we'll put um, bom, 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 bom. a new updated sped street raw. We're not really looking at that. And then we can actually see what account, choose the account. We can then choose the trigger. So as soon as somebody does it, so my Google Drive, choose a value, um, just basically choosing anything at all. So my phone's going mad at the moment. Um, so we can just choose anything at all, so database, any column, and then we can continue. All right, now then it's gonna show us all the various different things what we can actually make the action do, right? And the amount of actions that you can do from Google Sheets is huge. So I would always suggest going into Google Sheets and using the Google Sheets integration as opposed to the JSON API integration. It makes life a lot simpler and it means you've got an awful lot more options straight away in there. So it means that you're then completely set. Like I say, you can choose any page, um, download the template, go into Google Sheets. You can now then share as well your Google Sheets with any of your clients so you have the perfect combination. Okay, hope this helped and speak soon.